first guest is only four feet 11. She is, in fact, a showbiz giant. She's got a new CD out. It's called The Art of Elegance. Please welcome back to our show, our longtime friend, Kristen Chenoweth. I want to give you shoe cam. You let your feet dangle over those feet. <laughs> and let's let's give it to them good. I call. I get ready. I've asked you this before, but I haven't seen you in a while. I'm gonna ask you again. What size shoe is that? It is at five. A size five. <laughs> No, no, I like, you know, because we have a lot in common in that we're totally opposite in the, in the nature of size, you know? Yeah, Wendy and I have discussed this. It's a lot. It's tricky, right? I mean, I, I actually wear a four and a half. I'll take a five. Oh. Do you, do you have that problem? Like, I wear a size 11 and a half. I love a 12. Yeah. <laughs> I feel you. Yes. And, and my couch is custom built. It's raised up by four inches to accommodate my 40 inch legs. So, I can tell. So for you, I will need, and you know we built this for you in our first season of the show. We still have it. Michael Lee, come on out Where is with. It? Yes, yeah. Kristen's box. Thank you. Baby. Yes. I wish I could travel everywhere with this. With this. Uh, you know, or, you, well, you're easy to travel. You just fit in someone's pocket. <laughs> no, no. Let's, let's, I'm a pocket diva. But let, let's talk real because you know what? After a while, as a big woman, you get tired of people saying, wow, I wish I had your height or wow, whatever. Like, shut up. <laughs> but let's talk pet peeve being four feet 11. Okay. There is a d deep desire for fans or people to pick me up. I think they think I'm a toy. <laughs> they want to pick me up, and then, you know, then my feet are dangling and my neck, and now I just go, flu. You have the flu. I have the flu. And so they don't come in for the hug, so they can't pick you up. <laughs> exactly. Now, last time I saw you, which was not in person, but I follow you, you know, through the, uh, the social and the magazines, mm -hmm. you had cut your hair to very short. Yes. And you know what? <laughs> but, but, okay. Does it grow long or do you have extensions? What, like what's, well, okay. um, it's like I'm a chia pet. I have taken a lot of vitamin, what do you call it? B, I've taken a lot of that, and I've added hair from Russia. Oh, of course. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, Come on. This look right here. I miss it. It really does highlight your strong uh, jaw, which I love, and it might make you look not as cutesy, do you think? It's more sophisticated. In fact, Wendy, I'm glad you said that because one of the things I've been thinking about is going back to that cut and my mom, you know, I still listen to my mom. And she says, for me, I just love that short, like little cute do. And the thing is that though men, men like love the long to, hair. Yes, men love to touch so and tussle. I... Well, you're single, you might as well go with the man vote. <laughs> I mean, Here I sit. you know. Now, back to your love life. I would like to talk to you about this. Okay. Because I think that you are so, you're a triple, what they call that triple threat. You sing, you do Broadway, and you act. I don't know that you dance. Are you a dancer? I, I was, I have bad neck now, but yeah, I, I dance. So you do all that stuff. Um, you're cute as all get out. You, you've been raised well. She's from the South. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so every sister. time we meet each other, you're either just getting over a guy <laughs> or you're into somebody new. Yes. So where are you now? Okay, you know how we evolve and learn about ourselves and I, I constantly feel, Wendy, a little bit late to my own party. I was advanced when it came to my career and w my studies and things like that, mm -hmm. but when it came to the romance, I'm just always a little bit, and what I've realized is to have someone in your life no matter how busy you are, you have to make room for them. Yes. You have to make room for it, and you nurture it. And I gotta do that. And I'm, I really want that. Are you selfish in a relationship? Can we talk? Oh, yeah, let's talk. Okay. Um, 
I'm selfish with my time. In other words, you know I gotta go to HSN, and then I gotta go do Broadway, and then I'm going to Carnegie Hall. By the way, thanks for the love necklace. Did you yes, I got it, yes! Thank you, thank you! I love your clothes! Thank you! Last time I was at HSN, I went to Wendy's Rack because I wanted my models to wear her clothes, which they did. Because thank you. I love her clothes. And I was like, this one shirt is a dress, and I'll just add a belt. <laughs> so, but, but. It's so cute. So, all right, so, so you make time for you your gotta, career. You have to make time for a love life. And guys too. get pissed. Yeah, it takes a, it takes a, a special man, a, a, a secure man that goes, I'm good to see it, send her off, you know, for a concert tour or a TV show or whatever, and then love her when she gets back. Now, do you like another man who's smaller like you? Because, for instance, if you were with a man that, that is six feet two, first of all, I'd be pissed because you'd be taking a tall man <laughs> from another tall woman. <laughs> like, it, 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 it makes me upset. You know, like, this... This Jada Pinkett is like this, and Will Smith is like that, and I'm like, damn it, the tall is leave the talls for the tall girls. Now, do you do you like a nice five foot man, or do you want somebody tall? I am guilty of what Jada has done. I have dated mainly tall men. I don't know what it is. I think they think and they give you piggyback rides no, and spin you they, around and they stuff. They do spin you around, and they do pick you up. And in this case, I don't mind if they pick you. Yeah, up. that's good. They're cute, you know. They're, yeah, but. No, I, I mean, I think if you fall in love with somebody, if they're short, tall, it's the person's heart. See, that's how I've changed. Okay, now but, what like, about, but what about their career? Like, would you want to date Brad Pitt? He's single. Oh. That's a, that's a lot of baggage. Look at him. You know what, he's not ugly. He's not ugly, let's just be honest. He's, okay. he's also a fantastic actor. I don't think I would, I don't think I would go there, at least for a while. And also, let's just say, Angelina's, Angelina's single too. <laughs> I don't. No. Or, well, my mother just had a heart attack. No, I don't mean for me. Although your I think your entire I, congregation just yeah. had the heart attack. <laughs> my church. Yes. No, but I'm going to tell you something. I would see nothing wrong with that. But we always talk about the men. You know, the first when couples break up. Yeah. It's like, oh, the man. He's single. He's single. Yeah. What about her? She's yeah. single now too. So, all right. I wanted to ask you about your um, CD. You know, I love this type of music. You, 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 you sing songs like Someone to Watch Over Me. <laughs> like that old school one. music that mm -hmm. makes you cry. Aww. It's called The Art of Elegance. Yes. Talk about some of the songs that you've, like Gershwin-y stuff. Yeah, I, oh. I cut my teeth in Oklahoma and a lot of this music. And it's all, it's mostly fully orchestrated. But when I was picking the songs, I just made lists. Yes. And the lists just kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And, you know, I try to be hip, but the truth is, this is my music. You know, this is what I feel. It's beautiful it's, music, it though. It is. And, and you've got a great voice. Oh, my God, thank you. No, you I, do. Thank you. No, you do. And so, how many songs are on it? There are a whopping 13 songs. 13? I know. There's, there's so many, I couldn't... Couldn't, I couldn't you add one more to make it 14? I, 13's not a good number. I, I'm, I'm gonna choose to say that it, let's, let's embrace it. It could be a good number. Okay. All right. You stay right there. Um, you stay with us, please. Coming back, we're going to have Kristen here, and she's, well, she's gonna give us a little dirt in our hot seat. <laughs> Don't go away. It's about to get hot in here because Kristen Chenoweth is still with us and she's brave enough to take our hot seat. <laughs> so we're gonna ask Kristen four questions, starting off with warm, increasing the heat with each one. Are you ready? I'm beyond ready. Are you ready to give the info? Listen, I'm gonna bring it. Okay. Here's your 40 degree question. Okay. Kristen, mm -hmm. name a body part you didn't get that you really, really want Excuse me, not a body part. What am I? <laughs> I'm like, didn't we already say torso? I, 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 I don't. <laughs> yeah, name, name a part, an acting part. Oh. That you didn't get, that you really, really wanted. And and who got it? Please. Okay. Please. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. It's the Hunger Games. Okay. 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 What part? It was um the role of Effie. Whoa, Effie Trinket. Okay. 
and you really wanted it. I really. And, and who got it? I really wanted a, a very incredibly beautiful, talented actress, Elizabeth Banks. Okay, we know her, yes. We love her. Yes. <laughs> and she was perfect. She was perfect. But okay. you know, I read the books and I'm a big fan and anyway. Okay. Not bitter, not bitter. You're talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> you really wanted that part, didn't you? It's okay. Okay, here's yeah. your 60 degree question. Okay. Kristen, what's the craziest thing you've ever done while tipsy? Which by the way, on account of your size, I'm thinking a thimble of booze <laughs> will knock you off your feet. But what's the craziest thing you've done? <laughs> a thimble. You're right, you're right, it doesn't take much. Um, it was actually, I was alone. I went to a bar in Nashville because I wanted to just be, I was there singing in a concert with the orchestra, but I just wanted to be relaxed and have fun. So I went to a random bar, just a random music, country music bar by myself. And what happened? And I had a couple shots with four guys from Indiana. And then what happened? And then I gave them all my phone number. <laughs> 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 Truth. That's a good story. It's truth, and in, uh, they're very sweet. Thank goodness they're gentlemen, but. <laughs> um, okay. Here's... I don't give men my phone numbers. That's weird. Here's your 80 degree question. What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you while performing? Now you've done it all. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ugly and gross. Please tell the us. The audience is gonna hate me now. No, we won't. Go. I. Uh... I had a matinee of Wicked one time. Okay, well then what happened? And I had eaten something that didn't work with my stomach. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, you know. No, it, we don't know. <laughs> just everything blue. That's <laughs> <laughs> You are so disgusting. No, you're all, you no, you know what? You're all kind of people. Thanks for Thank sharing you. that. Okay, here's your final question. It's your 100 degree question. Okay, so you wake up next to a guy after a one night stand. I'm assuming that, you know, we've all been there before where we've had a one night stand. No. Okay, you really want to leave. How do you get out of it? Um, just whisper, um, something itches. <laughs> No intermission at the Lafontaine Theater singing. It's on Broadway. It starts in November.